Hey everybody, I'm back with another calculation video. Uh, if you didn't see my other video on how to do the dopamine calculation, I'm going to stick a link to that video right there. I recommend that you go watch it and learn how to do a dopamine calculation in the same manner that we're going to do this calculation. I've had a lot of uh, views on that video and a lot of requests to do other videos with similar, similar calculations. So I decided to do one for the Levafed drip, which is the next most common vasopressor that we're going to use on the ambulance. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let me show you the, the long way of doing the calculation, because it's important that you understand how the calculation is done in the first place. So for any medicated drip, our calculation is dose times the drip set all over the concentration. Concentration. So the easier way of doing this is to realize that there are two constants in this equation. The drip set and the concentration. These never change for a leave-a-fed drip. So let's, let's look at this with these constants written in. The dose times what is the constant drip set? What is always the drip set for a medicated drip? It's always going to be 60. All over the concentration. What's the concentration of levofed? The concentration of levofed is 16 micrograms per milliliter. Now I'm not going to discuss how to come up with that concentration. Um, if you're unsure on how to do a levofed drip, I recommend that you find a video on how to mix levofed into your uh, saline bag. Typically it's 4 micrograms in 250 milliliters or 8 micrograms into 500 milliliters. And it turns out with a 16 microgram per milliliter concentration. Okay, so back to the calculation. We're still doing this the old way, but recognize that the 16 and the 60 are both constants. They never change. Therefore, if they never change, we can go ahead and get rid of them and come up with a new number that we can use for every calculation of Levafed all the time. 16 goes into 16 one time. 16 goes into 60 3.75 times. Therefore, we're left with a new calculation that we can use for our levofed drip. Dose times 3.75. So let's do this and see how this works. Let's do a levofed drip at 10 micrograms per minute. We'll do it the old way. Dose times drip over concentration and then we'll also do it the new way of dose times 3.75 so the old way the dose is 10 times 60 all over 16 I'm going to bring up my calculator here and we'll do 10 times 60 divided by 16 equals 37.5 37.5 drops per minute Okay, and let's do the new way. We'll bring the calculator back up again. I'll move it out of the way. We'll do the dose, which is 10 times 3.75. 10 times 3.75 equals same number, 37.5 drops per minute. So what I want you to get out of this is that your new calculation for Levafed is the desired dose times 3.75.
hope this works for you. Um, if you have any comments, please put them down below, and we will see you down the road.